Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you entirely different approach to open the equation answering boards. So in your traditional chat boards, they are very limited, like you have to ask a proper question in order to get a proper answer. So I will try to explain it using an example. Let's suppose you have uploaded information about 10 different YouTube channels and you ask the chatbot a question about d.py and for example you ask hey do you know about d.py channel what is it about and the ai responds with something now the second time you ask how many subscribers does it have so when you said how many subscribers does it have it does not mention the channel name so when your query gets to the system to fetch the appropriate data it will not be able to answer to your query because your query is incomplete we have information about 10 different channels and the system will not know which one are you talking about so with this new approach we will be covering such scenarios and you can say okay this is more like advanced uh, type of chatbot and let's get started okay guys so here we have three different files answer.py app.py and vector generator.py so this is basically a built-in project which I have built it is a traditional chatbot using OpenAI and I'm going to show you also right now in knowledgebase.json we will store our data our knowledge base and this vector generator is responsible to generate the knowledge base so right now in this folder my PDF data I have two PDF files I'm going to upload both of them to my knowledge base first of all I have this file 2023 events Let's run this code and see if our knowledge base is updated. Okay, the code is executed successfully. Now, if I look at my knowledge base, it has some information, some data. Now, let me do the same for the second file, which is called my cv.pdf. okay uh, our knowledge base is ready we have some information about events in 2023 and also it have information about me because i uploaded my cv anyway now let's test it out if i this app.py contains a streamlit application which you are looking at right now it is responsible for this ui and if i go to app.py i can see there is a bunch of code you don't need to understand it i will provide you this complete code and you can make your changes accordingly okay now let's try to ask some question let me run this piece of code if i go to terminal and write streamlit run app.py okay guys let's test it out if i say uh, what happened in March give me only one point okay so I asked about the event that happened in March and all uh, and only asked for one point okay so now if I said actually give me two points let's see how it responds Oh, as you can see this is totally out of context answer if you look at this on february 3 2023 the us announced on march 14 open ai launched gpt4 and blah 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 so i i was talking about the events in march not in february it happened because if you look at this query it does not have the keyword march anywhere so when we are using the vectors embeddings cosine similarity it is not able to fetch the correct information or it is not able to understand and bring the correct context from the backend so this is what we are going to cover for that we are going to use openai function calling and i have not written any code for openai function calling i am going to do it right now so to get the function calling example i am going to fetch this example from their official website if i copy this and go back to the code here in answer.py i'm going to use this information anyway so this is the function calling example we have a function that says run conversation and so on what i'm going to do is i will 
copy this piece of code I will create entirely separate function for that def get answer using function call it takes user input and also previous history okay guys so in this approach i'm going to use the function call combined with the traditional approach so here i have got the function call example code and i have modified it and i'm going to go through it and tell you what actually happens so i uh, created this function that says get answer using function call it takes two parameters blah 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 it also that takes the previous history and here we have defined the function description the function name is get answer and i have said get answer to any query to which you don't know the answer yourself you will also call this function whenever the user asks some query or question so here i have defined the other properties you can see the documentation how to provide this metadata uh, it's so simple anyway here we are sending the first request to openai and after getting the response whether in the response do we need to call the function that was defined above or not if yes then what we are doing is we are getting the name of function we are getting the arguments so finally once we know okay open ai function call model wants to call a function that is called get answer so i write this piece of code myself I called the previous function which we defined and I am returning the response. Now I am going to show you the output how it is different from the traditional one. If you don't understand it, don't worry, it's not so easy to explain in words actually. So you can have the access to the code and you can go through it try to ask me questions if you have any problem i will try my best to answer anyway let's check the response guys okay guys let's test it out uh, first of all i will start with an example by asking about myself if i say do you know so hell and tell me i'm aware of so however i don't have any personal information about me okay tell me let's see how it responds now i'm having a proper conversation with the chat but instead of just asking a straightforward question so as you can see it gave me this complete answer so if you say i have said only that okay tell me it is referencing the previous conversation and generating a query on the backend and fetching the results i'm going to show you uh what query it actually generates if i search for generated query okay so these are the two queries that were generated the first one was who is so help and second time when i ask about okay tell me i just said okay tell me and it generated this query tell me about so help it because it referenced the previous conversation and generated a proper query and gave it to our get answer functions so let's try another example if i say are you aware of events in 2023 let's see how it responds okay so there are so many events and blah 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 so okay now let's ask another question i'm going to say okay and do you know if there is any project so hell did in that year so i'm just saying that year instead of saying 2023 let's see if it is able to actually fetch the information okay it is saying overview of year 23 including okay there is no information i have not added any information in 2023 so it's right so it already knows i'm talking about 2023 if i say can you provide more details regarding the second event you mentioned 
let's see what it says so actually i'm referring this event the un member state agrees on large framework for the high seas treaty and so on let's see the second event is an agreement and blah 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 it started in 2018 and so on so it is able to give me the correct uh, information just by referencing the previous conversation so previously it only uh, gave me like two or three lines of information and now it has given me this whole paragraph so let me show you the queries that were generated on the back end okay so for the second time this is the query that was generated and third time when i said are there any events in 2023 it generated this query and for the fourth time it asks about projects accomplished by Sohel in 2023. So this is the query that was generated when I said, when I asked this question, okay, do you know if there is any project Sohel did in that year? When I said this, it generated this query according to my input. It mentioned 2023 because it was referencing the previous conversation hope you guys understand what concept i'm trying to give you guys i'm going to share this code with you guys so you can play around with it and use this concept to you know further enhance the interaction with question answering chatbots and if you like this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for watching guys